I'm Kaylin, and I'm the Medical Outreach Director for the Mesothelioma Center. Patients often ask me about the latest research in mesothelioma treatment and ways they can get involved in clinical studies. I'm always happy to connect patients to studies and trials that fit their diagnosis. However, since only about 3,000 patients are officially diagnosed with mesothelioma each year, these trials are often rare and difficult to get funded. Today, I wanted to go over the three major sources of clinical trial funding. The first is through industry support. This includes commercial companies like those in the pharmaceutical and biomedical industries. These companies invest in developing new therapeutics that they hope will be profitable. This accounts for the largest portion of monetary funding for clinical trials. The second way that clinical trials are funded is through government support. This includes state and federal grants, like those from the Department of Defense and the National Institutes of Health. The purpose of these grants is to learn more about the diagnosis and patient care. The third way that clinical trials receive funding is through foundations. This includes not-for-profits, universities, cancer centers, and other organizations. Typically, these foundations focus on promising areas of research that might not otherwise receive funding from industry or government grants. This is a very important thing for rare cancers like mesothelioma. It's up to the doctors and the researchers to present their information and apply for these grants and hopefully receive funding from, from many of these sources. However, now that you know a little bit more about clinical trials and how they get funded, I look forward to sharing ways you can get involved and help out. Tune in next week we go over ways you can raise awareness and help get involved through raising money for mesothelioma clinical trials. And thanks for watching.